Welcome to our 12 days of Blue Crimbo. This is where the manager, the players, the coaching staff, the ambassadors and myself will be out and about in the Merseyside area and also far beyond the times to reward people who have made a real difference to the lives of others. To kick it all off, myself and Duncan Ferguson are in Kirby to meet a rather special football coach. We're here at Kirby High School to honour the very latest of our Christmas Blue Heroes. There's a gentleman called Paul Rutherford who's over there right now coaching the players of the Quarry Green Tigers junior football team. He does it every week, he does it for the love of the sport and very shortly I'll be joined by Duncan Ferguson and we'll interrupt one of Paul's coaching sessions to tell him that he is the latest Blue Hero. So they can interrupt for a minute. <laughs> Paul, Duncan Ferguson. <laughs> hey, you're right, mate. You've been nominated for one of our Blue Heroes. I'd like to thank you for all your uh, tremendous work you've done in the community and the tremendous work you're doing with your, your team. So um, I believe you're nominated by your wife. So she's, um, she obviously feels you're pretty special. <laughs> and uh, so, so does Everton Football Club. We think you're special as well, Paul. So well done for all your, um, your hard work. Well done. Yeah, and we've got a couple of. Um, we've got some bits and pieces for the kids. We've got strips. Strips. bags to be able to use. Yeah. Yeah. You've got strips, and you want to hold a strip up? Or? Yeah. Hold that strip up there. Yeah. There you go. Just because of his dedication towards the kids, um, as you can see, he's got a number a number of kids that are um, in his team, and he's got a, a list as long as your arms to try and get into his team. It's not only what he does on the pitch, it's what he does off, off the pitch with the kids. He's also got like um, a couple of different schemes going with the council, trying to get more pitches for the kids and um, things like that, really. Paul realised that not everyone can afford the equipment that you need to, for football, so he set up a boot campaign to, um, to make sure that everyone could, could play football. Basically, people who, whose boots don't fit them any longer, they can bring them along to Paul and then they can come confidentially pick a pair for the kids so that they don't lose out on activities and he's also been setting up a campaign to get football pictures made in our local park. Paul thanks for joining Everton TV, I know you're a little bit shell shocked, just explain what you were thinking there when you saw the big fella walking across the pitch in the middle of one of your sessions. Uh, I thought it was a bit of a dream, um, would have liked to come up against him, wasn't that good playing 40 years ago but uh, yeah, very, very well. Once again, you say very uh, taken back what just I happened thought, there. I thought he was going to say it was George Clooney walking out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say George Formby. <laughs> it must be fantastic to be nominated for the work that you do, Paul. Uh, totally flabbergasted once again, but as I say, we just try and pull it back into the community. Um, I know Everton and a big, big club in, in regards to <laughs> community based structures and, and, um, and schemes, and I'm very mean up just come down today and look at the work what we do. Just in, in the Kirby community, it's one of the fastest growing football clubs, probably. People like Paul are the lifeblood of football, aren't they? Fantastic, you know, and they do it for just the love of the game and the love of the kids. And um, you know, it's a tremendous effort that he's putting in, and um, and also the tremendous effort he's putting in with his team and also other projects in the area. So it's fantastic that a club like ourselves is recognising these uh, wonderful people, you know. Well, there you go. How good was that? Paul Rutherford, the latest blue hero of our Christmas campaign. He was absolutely stunned to get his coaching session interrupted. Even more stunned to meet Duncan Ferguson. Duncan gave him a pair of his boots that he's been wearing down at Finch Farm all season. And Everton Football Club gave the kids a kit each and some coaching equipment for Paul to use. Cones and coaching boards and hoops, stopwatches, things like that. Things that will come in really useful. Paul Rutherford, a thoroughly deserved blue hero.